What is up, YouTube? It is Steeler Sideline. We're back with another game news pickup. Uh, these are from a while ago. Can't even give you a date on it. Should have looked that up. But it's been probably over two months since I purchased these, if not close to it. Uh, so I did have a pair of Heinz Ward issued gloves. So I was finally able to upgrade them to some Heinz Ward game use gloves. So I did win these in an auction. Paid more than I really would have liked to, but I was just on that mission as I was gonna get these gloves because I have a nice pair of cleats with pink laces that I have that I'd like to go, you know, go with these. These are both signed. So you got two Heinz Ward autographs on the bottom and then he has it inscribed game worn 12 12 2010 so these are from 2010 uh looks to me he wore two sets of gloves that game uh which is not uncommon um i was able to get a photo of him wearing that glove that i'll include at the end uh, it also came with this letter of authenticity, also signed by Heinz Ward. Um, so you get three Heinz Ward signatures with this if you want to, you know, do that. And uh, I've been wanting to go through my whole entire collection, print out the COAs that I do have, or some have this type of COA. Like my bin cleats have a COA kind of like this, and my bin glove, all that. And I'd like to put them in these holders and kind of like file them. I haven't had time to do that. Maybe with me being done with the surgery, I could probably gather up all them COAs on my phone, print them all out, and start doing that uh, while I'm rec recovering and off from work. So, uh, so man, I, that's something I can look and look forward to doing. Also has a COA on the back too, with Heinz Ward. That is not a legit autograph on that one, but this one is, and the two on the gloves are, and you also get that little uh, hologram, tamper-proof hologram on there. So hopefully you can see those pretty well. Both signed by Hans. Both so show some nice use on the back. You can tell they were definitely used. It's going to be hard to pick up on the camera with it being just black. But uh, but happy with this pickup. Like I said, not happy I had to pay as much as I did. But I am happy that I uh, got them for the collection. It was one of those things I really would like to have. You know, I have a Ben Cleat wind cleats and I have his glove got Harrison uh, cleats got his gloves uh, farrier foot all the key people except for Paul Amalo I do have a pair of his gloves but not cleats probably won't get cleats for them but I feel like Hans is one of those ones I just had to add so uh, so definitely happy to add him to the collection so like I said, I'll send a, I'll show a picture of that as well. But it comes with the, the letter of authenticity when Hans used to do this. Uh, it says, this the Hans Ward game used item that accompanies this letter is an authentic game used in NFL licensed equipment item worn by Hans Ward. This game used item has been per personally signed by Hans Ward and contains an exclusive Hans Ward hologram. This item comes with a 100% money back authenticity guarantee. For more information on Hans Ward, go to the website, which is no longer available. But, uh, but yeah, I'm happy to add these to the collection. Um, I've been looking for Hans gloves for years now since I bought those cleats, which you guys have seen on my. If you've been watching for a while, you know how long ago I bought those. So, uh, so I've been looking for a while now. So definitely happy to add those. He did uh, have over 100 yards re receptions 
100 reception yards that game. Uh, did not have a touchdown. Uh, so a good game to have gloves for as well. They will look nice displayed with the cleats up there. I took the other ones down. Uh, put those on eBay, actually, so I can upgrade to these ones. Uh, I don't need both of them. You know, I got to the phase. I mean, there are certain players I'll keep both, but with the issued stuff, I'm trying to get away with most of that and stick to the game used. So, uh, so as you can see, I got my uh, eBay taper up here. I've been uh, trying to get some rid of some things on eBay and been, and been doing that pretty fre frequently. So, uh, so hopefully uh, I can get rid of a lot of the extra stuff I have and thin out my collection a little bit. Uh, and that's all I have for you two. I'm just rambling now. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what I've been working on thinning out the collection. I know a lot of collectors don't like to hear that, but like I got to the point where when I go into that back room here, that room's supposed to be like a, a, a an extra closet. I, I was gonna put some of my music stuff in there, make it kind of like a you know music theme room, but but it's gonna be storage for you know overflow and um, and uh, you know overflow and in a music theme room but uh, it, it's turned into what this attic used to be which is just all my stuff dumped in there the dump 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 so it's just <laughs> a bunch of memorabilia in there right now that are just you know and i want to you know i'll have a few totes in there i want them nice and neat but once it goes past that i don't want a bunch of boxes with stuff in it i want to display what i want to display once i run out of that room and then you know i can work on get new stuff and then take it and only upgrading like hey i don't like this picture on the wall anymore let me get a new 16 by 20 to replace it with something better that's what I, that's where i want to be with my collection i really don't want to be chasing all these things again i think my collection is pretty good where it is so you know unfortunately i've been getting to that point where i think i need to not worry about buying as much and I've been doing a pretty good job of that it doesn't seem like it because I keep showing you purchases but within the last two months I've only bought uh, a couple name plates and gloves and I will still continue to buy those they're not that expensive they don't take up a lot of room to display and I can also take down someone I don't want to display anymore and put somebody else in that place so they're kind of interchangeable with that sense so anyway I'll stop from rambling one pickup today, Hans Ward from the auction. Hopefully you enjoyed this pickup. Um, and that's all I got for you today, YouTube. As always, have a great one. Still in nation.